In this problem, we are given a diagram and we are asked what is the power delivered in this circuit. We are also asked what is the power absorbed in this circuit. Since we have multiple powers here, we're going to need to use the summation. We'll use the summation of our power being absorbed. This is a plus. And then we will also have the summation of our power being delivered, which is a negative. We're going to set this equal and finish these by putting values into them. So looking at our diagram, we are first going to start off with the current. And the current we will represent as a red line goes this way. Now I'm going to draw the voltage of each of these in blue. So for a 10 volts, we're going into the positive and out through the negative. And then for a 30 volts, we are also going into the positive and out through the negative. I'm going to draw red arrows indicating our amps through the actual circuits part. And now we can analyze, analyze this. So for the 10 volts, we can see that our current is going in the opposite direction of our voltage. That means this is power being delivered. So we're going to have a negative here and then 10 volts times the current. And since it's in series, this is going to be the current that is used for each of these. So we're going to have 10 volts times 8 amps. And now we're going to look at power absorbed because our 30 volts is in the same direction as our current. So this means that we're going to have a positive 30 volts times 8 amps. Now, if we do 30 volts times 8 amps, this is going to give us 240 watts. If we do the same thing down here, where we have 10 times 8, this is going to give us a negative 80 watts. Well, these have to be equal to be the perfect circuit for this problem to actually make sense. So what we're missing here, we are missing a negative 160 watts. That means that in here, this part, for our voltage, we need to find it and it's going to be a power delivered. So what we can do is since it's being a power delivered and the current's going this way, our voltage needs to go in the opposite direction. So our plus is going to be here and our negative is going to be right here for our voltage. And that means that this voltage, since our amps, since our amps is eight watts, that means we can divide eight by 160 and we get that our voltage is just 20, because 20 times 8 is 160. Knowing that, we can plug in our answers. So the power being delivered is negative 240 watts, and the power being absorbed is 240 watts. Again, because our current area in green, which is this part, we found to be 20 volts by just looking at the part that we are missing. So we would set this equal to a negative 240 watts, and then we have the answer to this problem.